Music Day from the Saber Roar. I'm Nicole. And I'm Cassie. Today we'll be talking about the Jazz Cabaret, the cool improvements at The Rock, the Wounded Warrior Project, and this year's Hollywood Talent Show. Looking to have some fun in the snow before winter is over? Then we have the place for you. Before it was The Rock, Crystal Ridge only offered skiing and snowboarding. Now, under new management, The Rock has added a terrain park, fat tire mountain biking, and snow tubing. So there's something for everyone. Don't feel left out if you can't ski or snowboard. The Rock also offers the Powder Farm Lesson Program, which takes place once a week for five weeks to teach you how to ski and snowboard. The Rock is becoming a community recreational area for all seasons. Be sure to check out The Rock during the summer as well for the bike and baseball parks. The 2015 Jazz Cabaret was a fun-filled night featuring many musical ensembles. The cafeteria was filled with show tunes from Broadway and New York Jazz. Pretty much after one year's Jazz Cabaret ends, we already start planning ahead to the next. So last spring we were already planning on a theme that was going to be Broadway based and New York based because we knew that the Jazz Ensemble and Wind Ensemble would be traveling to New York in spring 2015. The spring break trip offers opportunities for performing and learning as well as touring New York. During this year's Jazz Cabaret, both the high school and middle school jazz band, orchestra, and choir groups perform to help fundraise for these music endeavors. This trip provides sheet music for these groups that we perform. Um, it also helps to support clinics. Um, we do educational clinics as part of the Jazz Cabaret in the afternoon with the high school and middle school jazz ensembles. Um, so it supports these educational experiences as well as um, travel, sheet music, um, and other equipment that we need. The music department raised over $3,700 through United Music Parents for future expenses and trips. Every year, the Wounded Warrior Project reaches out to soldiers and helps them transition back into normal life. Here at FHS, students and teachers have been making a difference in the lives of retired soldiers. Uh, the Wounded Warrior Project is a nonprofit organization that um, helps veterans that are suffering from depression and PTSD. Students came together to strategize ways to raise money and awareness for the organization. Uh, the Psychology Club took up the uh, mission to fundraise, and what they did was they were asking for donations that we would then give to the Wounded Warrior Project. Psychology Club was very successful and raised over $700. The donations all together just go towards the Wounded Warrior Project. And what they do really is they uh, organize retreats, they organize activities for veterans just to reach out to them and, and in some cases it's rehabilitate them back into society. Donation boxes were placed in classrooms to bring awareness and raise money. We started in December and then we finished really right after the holidays. Even though donations are no longer being collected at FHS, it is not too late to pitch in and help out the cause. For more information on how you can help out, check out their website at WoundedWarriorProject.com. This year's talent show was a major success, proving that FHS is pretty talented. For the first time ever, this year's Hollywood talent show was held in the Saber Center. The goal of the talent show was to raise money for Video Productions 2016 Hollywood trip. It was hosted by Video Productions students Julia, Eden, Sam, Joe, and Andre, along with past hosts Robbie and Evan. The talents varied from dancing and yo-yoing to other musical performances, including special guest performances by Mr. Carini and Mrs. Schlecht, along with Mr. Karolevich and Mr. Doucette. My favorite act? Oh, it had to have been Mr. Carini and Ms. Schlecht. They were on fire up there. Um, oh my gosh, look, there he is! I think it was really difficult, to actually, to, to choose first, second, and third place because the talent level here at Franklin High School is so high. Um, everybody that got on stage did an excellent job, and it was no easy task. The talent show ended with the announcing of winners and distribution of prizes. Third place was a tie with the piano performance of The Scarlet Cape by Lindsay and Amanda, as well as Megan dancing to Plantex Drury. Second place was taken by Noah and his famous yo-yoing, and in first was the White Winter Hymnal of Haley, Olivia, Maddie, and Jamie. Thank you to all of the very talented performers and video production students who made this talent show possible. This just in. What up, Franklin? 
What's up guys, it's your boy Malik and this is for this week's This Just In, okay? First, I wanna give a shout out to the boys bowling team for making this to state this weekend. I wanna say good luck to y'all. Also, good luck to everyone performing at the Solo District Ensemble. I hope y'all do your best, okay? And this Friday, don't forget to go and donate some blood, all right? Go help make a difference in somebody's life. I've been Malik, I'm out. And now it is time to announce this week's Uproar winners. I nominated Elite for an Uproar because he is always has a really positive attitude in biology class. He's really helpful to other students and he did a great job helping a new student in our class when he was struggling with something. So thanks Elite, you're doing a great job. Congratulations. We nominate Emily Biggs for Uproar this week. Um, Emily has taken on a big role in our school store, um, getting it up and running. So Mrs. Lester, Mrs. Letting, and myself want to nominate her. Her leadership, time commitment, and energy to making this a success has been amazing. And um, one of the things she's doing is creatively always thinking about new ideas. One of the things that she had just proposed is music for the store, and we're trying to make that happen. So thanks again, Emily. Keep up the great work. Congrats to the both of you. Keep up the outstanding work. Well, that's all we have for you on this week's edition of the Save Roar. I'm Cassie. And I'm Nicole. Good luck to everyone performing at the WSMA Solo Ensemble this weekend. And to seniors, we've got less than 100 days to go. So buckle up and good luck. I'm going to need it.